Does anyone else feel like we're in the middle of a major shift here on YouTube? It seems like every other week we are hearing of another one of the OG YouTubers, the greats, the giants, retiring or leaving YouTube altogether, whether that's due to burnout, old age, controversy, whatever it is, it feels like they're dropping like flies. It is absolutely heartbreaking seeing all of these content creators that we know and love leaving this platform. However, I firmly believe there is a positive to every negative situation, and this leaves an interesting opportunity for the smaller YouTubers. As someone who's consumed a lot of photography and filmmaking content here on YouTube over the last decade, it's been interesting to see the space grow and change over time. I mean, for the longest time, every kid with a camera wanted to be the next Casey Neistat. But for so long, whether it's gaming YouTube, photography YouTube, like fashion and lifestyle, like so many of these big spaces on YouTube, uh, so many kids started making content, making content, making content but there wasn't enough space for all of us to grow together and succeed. So many people were told, hey, YouTube is just way too oversaturated. Don't chase your dreams. Don't make that content. Why are you even trying? Like I saw a lot of that. And it's, it's interesting to me because now we are finally seeing an era where the smaller channels are starting to rise. Like me personally, I have found so much inspiration in channels and YouTubers that are at 100,000 subscribers or significantly less. Like some of my biggest inspirations recently have been YouTubers like Zach Mayfield, Cam Mackey, and on the much, much smaller side of things, Shua Films. There are so many other YouTubers that I could be talking about right now, but those three specifically come to mind uh, in this new era that we're at right now with YouTube. We are seeing opportunity for these really small channels to grow and have potential to become the greats. Like the amount of inspiration I get from these three dudes in particular it's some of the same feelings that I got watching like Chris Howe or Peter McKinnon or even Casey Neistat back in the day. Like it's YouTubers like the three of them that make me so excited for the future of this platform. Like YouTube finally feels creative again. And that's special. It's not just because of the three of them, but because of so many new and talented, passionate creators just pouring their heart and soul into YouTube. It's, it's just so cool getting to watch it from afar. Now, not to say that I have an ounce of the same talent or creativity as any of these content creators that I look up to, but I wanna build to that. I wanna get there. It's not about the subscribers or the numbers or the viewership, it's about getting myself to a point where I'm happy with what I'm creating but I just feel like I need to be making something right now, but I can't quite figure out what that is or what it looks like for me. So we're just taking it one step at a time. Uh, I'm gonna keep on making these silly little videos for now and hope that I actually make something remotely cohesive.